tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Look what's back! That's it, all MOT'd for another year. Right, so, <coughs> while it was away, there was a leak. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video. But it was at the garage. The garage said, you have a leak in the cab. Which, up to then, I didn't think I had a leak in the cab. I had no sign of that. Obviously, I've got the leak. Well, we had the leak in the back that I've temporarily fixed. So, what I need to do today is get the headliner off. I don't know if you can see the watermarks all the way along there. So, surely, if it was coming in through the windscreen, it wouldn't get all the way along there. And if it did get all the way along there, all of that would be the same. You would think, in theory. So, I've already made a start of taking the sun visors off. Get this looks worse here that side. Definitely looks like it's coming in more that side. So we shall get the headliners off and see where we're at with that. Oh my child, I know. Hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt Ooh, I know you tried so hard That bit there looks really bad, so I think that's where the water's coming in. Well, coming into the cab, but I don't know how it's getting into there. Is it just going to be coming for this? Because that's the aerial there, and that looks a bit grubby. Whole way round, whole way round here's quite bad as well. What's going on right out there? What we do have is that. But we do have the whole way along there. 
serious rust. So basically we're waiting on rain to see if we've still got water coming in the cab while the van's parked flat because I don't know how Ian had the van parked if he was parking it in a slope the water could be coming in anywhere from the hole of the roof I'm trying to get a hold of a damp meter as well so that I can check everywhere without taking all the insulation back out oh, I really didn't think we'd be back here I spent enough months looking for leaks so I think this could be beyond me we might be needing help with this shunt so this is what we're resorting to sink it's going to have to stay there to catch any drips that come in for there leave a comment if you're a professional leak finder eh? leave a comment with your phone number you are required tell you the list of jobs in this van just that never goes down it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and half the time it's stuff you never even thought you would need to worry about so, I'm selling it and buying a looting van. I'm not really. Well, I might. Could be tempted. Anybody want to buy an LDV? Full year MOT? No other known issues. So, just went over to the house here and grabbed some water. So, we're going to just try and see what the issue is. So, I think the best bet is just maybe to set the camera on like that. First thing I'm going to try is the aerial, because it is right beside that. And it's weird because it doesn't feel as though the, I mean, the water would have to run all the way along here. We'll see. <laughs> we have water getting in over there. Do you have it anywhere else? It's just so the whole fucking lot then. Right, I've poured right the way along and there doesn't seem to be anything else coming in. So basically... I don't know, it's such a weird chin. So is it coming in here and running along? Doesn't it feel like it is? Right. I'm going for it being the aerial. It's the only place I've put water and we've got lots of water coming in. So, I wonder if I could duct tape around that the now and see. <laughs> you know me for a bit of duct tape. I love this stuff. Fixes every wee problem. Right, so, if in doubt, get the duct tape out. I have duct tape around the aerial. Hopefully there's no holes. Ah, oh, still dripping. It's got to be the edge then of the roof. Well, it would be a bit easy if we got it right first time anyway, wouldn't it? That's a bit too much. So, let's see if we can try and figure out how this water's getting in. Let's put my issue in. Get all the brown there and running right the way along. Okay. It's getting in there. And that bit. Oh, yeah. Ah. Hi. 
twelve. It must be running very way really down inside there somewhere as well. Back to this duct tape drawing board. Right, back for some adventure and up on the roof of this van. Well, no, on the bonnet of this van. There's probably more that we should be doing. All your life you've tried. Be a good man inside Did everything that you thought you should Didn't seem to do you any good Maybe get some of that stuff that you spray to reseal them as well, double it up. And fingers crossed that's what this is. So I need some scaffolding boards because I can't be walking on top of the van. I think this could be part of the issue. I think seals could have been broke every time I've been up on top of that van. So scaffolding boards so that I'm not walking on the roof of the van. I need a tool to take this old ceiling out <laughs> and then I need to get practice with silicone because I am crap at it so anybody want to come and silicone my van for me? that would be really appreciated don't give up just hold on tight it'll be alright 